last Friday night in Truman, Arkansas at the Truman Recreation Complex. Lots of great action, lots of shocking situations. We saw what happened involving Ron Rage earlier tonight as a golden boy missed high in that maneuver and hit the steel post and then 3G Eric Wayne able to follow up with a DDT and now it's time for 3G to reach over, grab that something extra inside and make the tag to his partner, the big man Ken Nichols. Referee was actually looking good considering that account as 3G was just trying to get to his partner and Golden Boy has caught the leg. I tell you what, very good ring presence of mind. Golden Boy felt 3G getting away from him. Look at that though. 3G kicks out and tags in Nichols, who comes in a house of fire. Kid Nichols, 6'3, 230 plus pounds, and he is wasting no time in laying into his opponents. Repeated series of punches and blows on both men. Irish whip now. Oh, and he catches Golden Boy in the gut. Kick to the midsection on beautiful Bobby and a forearm to the back. Nichols is in control. Eric Wayne catching his breath. He's coming in and we have this. This one's breaking down. This one is totally breaking down, ladies and gentlemen. Referee saying somebody's got to get out of here. Come on. Oh, Golden Boy looked down. He didn't find anything except now the big right hand of Ken Nichols who sets him up. Choke slam down hard. Nichols thinks he's got it one right here. If he could pin the Golden Boy. Oh, Bobby Eaton, though, he saw that about to happen and kicked Ken Nichols. Bobby Eaton right there, if you see his hands, he's coming down in front of the cameraman. He's going over to 3G. Get those two are going to rock horns on the outside out of camera range. And he's telling the camera, Bobby Eaton just walked by and told the cameraman to back up. And it looks like he did something out of camera range to 3G Eric Wayne. I think he actually ran him into the steel post. And now what is this? Bobby Eaton with that. That's a, that's a key to the city. That's the key to the city that was handed to him by Augusta Mayor Jimmy Rhodes a couple of weeks ago, and he just used it to jab Kid Nichols in the throat. You gotta be kidding me. Golden Boy's gonna make the cover. One, two, three, unbelievable. Midnight Gold Victorious using some very dirty tactics. And wait a second, I think I hear the voice of our executive director. Let's hear what Casino's got to say about this. I think I hear him. He just whispered something, saying he's had enough of this situation. Maybe we'll be able to pick the microphone up here in just a second. As Midnight Gold celebrates this, what I want to call a very, very tainted victory. Hopefully we'll get some help for Kid Nichols who is caught right in the throat. I think he's having trouble breathing. He's pointing to his throat. And right now here at Casino, here he comes. Charles Casino Kid Mosier, ladies and gentlemen, is on the house mic.
You, you just step back a little bit. I've never had it. I've had it. You can ask anybody in this area. Wait a second, wrestling fans. I think we have just heard the issuing of a challenge. Casino Kid Charles Mosier, our executive director of wrestling operations, is told Golden Boy, you beat me right here, right now. You don't have to pay that $5,000 fine that was levied to Midnight Gold. They received a letter last week in the mail prior to this show saying that due to their actions in recent weeks at Truman, they attacked Ray Ray, they threw a referee to the floor, and now we saw what they just did moments ago using that key to the city to level Kid Nichols. All those kind of actions have cost them in the pocketbook, but maybe not if Golden Boy Greg Anthony beats Casino Kid Charles Mosier, who's in trouble right now, as Golden Boy caught him from the get-go, and it's just waylaying with him. Those fists, lefts and rights coming at him. Down goes Casino. big riot again. I don't know, though this time that adrenaline may be starting to pump into Casino. He's a fired up man. Look at this guy. Oh, and he starts wailing on Golden Boy, returning the favor now. And he is just, it is, this is a fight. This is not a wrestling match. This is not going to be a wrestling match at all. Oh, look out from behind. From behind, beautiful Bobby Eaton with that key to the city. And referee's gonna call for the bell. Golden Boy now biting him, come on. Golden Boy feels like they've been targeted by, as he says, the office, as he holds Casino for a right hand, courtesy of beautiful Bobby Eaton. He's gonna hold him, he's gonna do it again. He may be about to use that key, jab him in the eye. Oh, wait a minute, here comes Ron Rage. Dan Matthews and Justin the Juice Smart, thank goodness for them. Or this could have been a total disaster. Again, Casino is going to get the victory, so they're still going to be $5,000 lighter in the pocket, courtesy of The Office. And I think this situation here involving Casino, The Office, and Midnight Gold is certainly far from over. Side Championship Wrestling makes its return to Augusta on Saturday night, April 24th at the National Guard Armory. I'm coming on TV with top RCW superstars, including Ron Rage, Midnight Gold, Dynamite, Seth Knight, Matt Riviera, and more. Tickets are $10 for adults, $8 for students. It's Ringside Championship Wrestling Live. It returns to Augusta on Saturday night, April 24th. This is your chance to see great wrestling. Be there! April 24th, Augusta, Arkansas, Premier Brutality versus Midnight Gold, Part 2. Now, some say that we may have taken a shortcut. We may have done something that maybe we shouldn't have, but the fact of the matter is we are being targeted by the company. Charles, Casino, whatever you want to be called, finding us $5,000 for doing what we do best. You know what, Charles, there's only one thing you really got to know. And that's that, what, what is, what is, what is this? Oh, that. oh, we've got the key to victory. Premier Brutality, you didn't stand a chance before. You don't stand a chance.